annual day represents the day that is a mixture of acknowledging achievements of the children throughout the year and also a lot of fun and joy the children brings to all through their performance on stage undoubtedly we are very fortunate to have such teachers trainers care providers and instructors who have been working all these days for the children and the institution of kanasu to bring out the best performance in all the pupils without any delay let's welcome our chief guest of today's evening before introducing our chief guest to you all we will have our auspicious lamp lighting ceremony by the dignitaries on the stage i request all of you to stand at your places we pray for your blessings with all all humility give us wisdom to make this world a better place may all human beings live in harmony with nature and other forms of life may the truth prevail may the darkness of ignorance be swept away by dawn of self realization all today
been involved directly in defending the wildlife of Bangalore, saving the environment. So now, the People Park was Wildlife Conservation Center. Ipa tayi dwarsha ne da ili da. So we have done a great job. Nandu nandu rescue division ida. Bangalore nali unplanned urbanization akta ida. So a lot of trees are being cut and a lot of lakes are being encroached and many areas are being taken over which was the dwelling places of animals. So a lot of wildlife, the wildlife which lives in the city, what you call the urban wildlife, the birds, the mammals, the reptiles, the snakes, the monkeys, different kinds of birds get displaced and get injured. So now in Martivi, so this is this has been a human um, service from Martha Devi from last 25 years. Other bit bit we also so we also have a very active uh, children ecology environmental program So we we have identified the children, the students, the young minds or the ambassadors to save the environment. We have a very active program where we uh, invite students to come. There are many schools are associated with us. The Gopala International School, the Jain International School and many of the village schools are associated with us. So we are targeting the children. We give a very good audio-visual presentation. Yatra rescue model, yatra veterinary treatment, yatra rehabilitation, yatra recovery, yatra release them back into nature. So, our students can conduct a six acre limited forest in the conservation center. So, we take them around the center. You know, the post TV, Yatra, squirrel, if we want. How do you feed a squirrel? How do you feed a bird? How do you raise a small monkey baby which has an orphan? If the mother having died due to the electrification and action, it has a post TV which was a chill. All the children who which have gone through us, so they when they are never going to hurt the environment or they're never going to hurt the nature or never going to hurt any animals in their life because what they show show them gets imprinted in the mind. So this is the change we are looking for. So all these students when they go back, I we get a feedback from their parents. So he's a change. Uh, my son, daughter is a change. After he's visited uh, your center, he's insisting that uh, we should take uh, cloth bags for shopping. He's putting on the lights. He's closing the tap on his own. So this is the change we are looking for. So, uh, so this is a very good environmental education program. So we invite in every one of you to come and see us. Go through our website, uh, People for Animals Bangalore. And uh, we want, uh, we are saving the wildlife of Bangalore. So we want the citizenry of Bangalore be a part of our journey to come with us to save our own wildlife in Bangalore. So Bangalore remains a garden and a vibrant city. Thank you. Namaskar. Your journey is so inspiring, sir. And we will definitely visit your place with our children. I feel delighted to welcome Mrs. Mary Elizabeth, who is the founder of Greenwood High School. She had completed her BA, MA and started her career in a play school as a teacher. She is passionate, dedicated, hardworking woman who is now the founder and principal of the well-established school named Greenwood High School with more than 1000 students. You are a leader who shows motherly love, give fatherly confidence. Your endless care, guidance and support prove that you are a great leader. We are really blessed to have you on stage today. Welcome ma'am. I request Mrs. Kusuma to honor them on behalf of Kanasu.
wonderful annual day celebration of Kamasu. It is amazing to see young budding stars in bright colors ready to rock the floor and entertain us too. The meaning of Kamasu is not just dreams. It K stands for enlightenment. A stands for natural leader. N stands for think out of the box. A again stands for free thinking. S is a sense of warmth and devotion. U sharing and caring. One morning I had a call and the true caller said it's from Kanasu the kindergarten and the person on the opposite said hello well, it was a very familiar voice to me, one which I had heard 10 long years ago. It was one of my students who studied and passed out, as I said, 10 years ago. He said he had started his own kindergarten where I was very proud and happy for it. That was none other than Mr. Ramit. join us. Let me continue. He was an excellent, well-mannered and an amazing student. He was even our school sports captain and no wonder he had done his job well. So I appreciate you for all your hard work and I would say you people are taking the best decision in your life and putting your child in his play. He would bring up your children as he would win. And dear parents, undoubtedly, I would like to tell you that you have taken the best decision. So I was impressed with his teaching methodology and the new aids what they are using in school where it says no screen time. That was a wonderful, actually wonderful. And let me not take much of your time and let me conclude by saying a few tips as parents. As parents, please spend time for your children in your busy schedule. I know how busy we are running out for jobs but still spend at least a few minutes a day for your children. We are there for children. And talk to them about what was done in school today. Ask them, talk to them what they did in school today. Gives a lot of time for them to play. And make it a zero mobile phone or the screen time. Avoid screen time for the children. And happy parenting to all of you all and good luck to Kanasu and its team. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. And we have Dr. Sindhu Madan Shetty on stage. Welcome you, ma'am. I would like to introduce you all. We have Dr. Sindhu Madan Shetty who have completed her education from prestigious Karnataka Institute of Medical Sciences and Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. Currently practicing as consultant physician and intensivist as at Rashtrothana Hospital, Naira's Specialty Clinic. She is compassionate, dedicated and patient-centric doctor carrying an inspiration by providing solutions to health issues and bettering the patients holistically. She was actively involved in treating more than 6,000 COVID patients during the pandemic. You are like an angel sent on earth to heal and care for people. 
Doctors like you replace the fear of illness with trust in recovery. We are very privileged to have you on stage today ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us today and welcome you again. I request Mrs. Kusuma to honor them the offer of Kanazu Preschool in daycare. I request our chief guest to share a few thoughts with us all today. Good evening everyone. So it's my pleasure to be with you all. I just don't want to be boring. I know everybody is waiting for the performance by kids. So overall what I think is uh, being a teacher. Teacher is the best profession or one of the most impactful profession in this society is my strong belief. Like since my childhood, I have been inspired by so many teachers. So whatever moralities or the deep values I carry is strongly by my parents and my teachers. I think it's the same with a lot of us. So it's not just that they learn letters or uh, numbers. They learn so many other things. Eshtondu kalita school ali. Just things like sharing. Share maar kolo do, ato yara dro vidha ka origogi help maar vanta do. Itar empathies and uh, other core values which make a human complete is taught only majorly at school, right? That too, particularly preschool area. It's like as we say, it's a clay. Whatever we stamp on it, it's going to stay for a long, long uh, time to come. So basically, so the more happy they are at this stage, the more happier human being we are going to get. So I'm just so happy to be part of this celebration, and I thank and wish best wishes for the Kanasu and uh, Thank you for inviting. All the best to everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. And now. How can I forget to tell about Ms. Amit, who is the cluster manager of Kanasu Preschool in daycare. Have completed BTEC in mechanics and started working at Muscat for the company Oltas as a HVAC engineer. During his school academics, he was a karate champion in the state level for twice. He is the man who come forward to the person who is seeking any help. He is the main pillar of Kanasu who have been helping us in all the aspects. Mr. Amit is our electrician, plumber, software developer, webcaster, safety provider, motivator, who is empowering women to be independent. He also owns an e-commerce business by name AP Creations and Ambat Associates and also been the founder of Kanasu Preschool and Daycare and also the Karnataka State Secretary for OFSA, which is a private organization for food safety and awareness. Without you, Kanasu would never have come into life. Thank you so much and welcome you on stage today. I would take little more of your time to say the annual report of Kanasu. I know you are all waiting to see the kids performing on stage, but please. Kanasu is a play-based learning institute which is an education that emphasizes physical play, movement, exploration, problem solving. This type of learning differs from academic preschool readiness skills. They aim to prepare children for school years. Academic based learning mostly have teacher led classrooms. Teachers and staff guide kids through a tightly structured curriculum. They introduce kids to different subjects, whereas play-based curriculum are less structured, which means we concentrate on 360-degree child development skills along with reading and writing. Here, kids are free to move around, 
choose the activities and explore along with play they interact with other kids walk on the concept with the peer group dress up sensory building dance art craft cognitive social intrapersonal interpersonal skills at kanasu they also have the class time where they tend to learn the book knowledge along with one on one interaction with the teachers which is clearly seen that they are picking up things so much easier than other children we at kanasu believe that they learn best through the process of play we have celebrated all the national festivals which have bringing in a sense of patriotism it reminds us that despite all our differences our love for our country unites us all also remembering the freedom fighters who fought for our country and made this place safe for us to live today without any delay let's start the program are you all excited